All right, folks, man. You know, like I said, this is going to be a special episode. It's called Ask Easy. I'm answering all the questions and all of that, man. So, you know, I'm going to get the intro out the way on the front side, and then we're going to do the back part on the back side. <sighs> yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh with Pop the Smoke, and I'm running. Woo! Pop the smoke and I'm running. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BKA the People's Champ, coming to you live. We're getting more ass waxery live and direct from the ass fact. You already know what time it is. Coming up with a little bit of approach, a little bit different approach. How the fuck did the van blow up and that bitch didn't fucking die? I bet you the bitch ass died right now. Whoo, two piece, huh? And let me get up out of here. Oh, I got that motherfucker! I got B! I got B! Oh shit, he got. Oh shit, yeah, y'all thought I was gonna die right there, then you do draw down on me, and y'all thought I was gonna die, but fuck it, it is what it is, but man, let's check this out, this is a special episode called Ask Easy, and we're gonna get right to the questions, because we had a, we had quite a few questions, man, so you know we're gonna get right to it, first off the break, my man Panther Jim says, you know, you know, he saw my YouTube video where I was playing basketball, and it shows me dunking on fools and stuff like that, you know, it's pretty much showing my ass, and his question is, did I ever have an opportunity to play professionally, or, uh, you know, basketball or football, and then, um, and was there an injury, okay, so I never had a, a, the opportunity to play uh, basketball or football. Honestly, I just wasn't quite good enough. And I know it's hard to believe a little bit, but I, I, I just wasn't as good as, as the average guy that's in college. That, that's all they've done all their whole life. So um, I, I never did get to play. I did tell my ACL. Uh, when I played in my, like my third year in college, and I was on the practice team, and I practiced with the guys and worked them out and all type of stuff like that. But I never really did get a chance to uh, to play professionally or collegiately it, it just wasn't an option for me i wish it was but it wasn't and a lot of people wouldn't tell the truth about that and say that that's just not good enough you know they probably make up some dumb ass excuse but i'm just telling you the truth uh you know it is what it is i got a voicemail from one guy asking me where did i get my nickname um you know fresh from the barbershop be care of the people's channel so i'm gonna go over my whole nickname all right so we got um Fresh from the barbershop came from where i have a bald head and i always it always looks like i got my hair cut so it looks like I'm fresh from the barbershop all the time. And now, you know, BK the People's Champ. I used to be, I used to act silly as hell at work, man. I would go to work where I used to work and I have uh, the belts, like uh, the old WWE belts and stuff, and I'd just be carrying on my shoulder. And they'd be like, what the fuck are you the champion of? And I'd be like, shit, I couldn't think of nothing special. So I just say, I'm the People's Champ. You know, the people needed a champion, so they elected me. And so, you know, uh, that's, that's just how I got that. Most nicknames are given to you, and, you know, that's that's just what it is. And then Jay Easy, you know, they gave that to me. Um, yeah, I just that's just growing up, you know. That's that's just all I am. I'm easy. Um, my name was Jay. They just gave it to me. But you know, it's a whole lot of stuff behind that. All right, so we have the next next uh, person. He says, you know, he got a question. Um, you know, he he asked me about my job or whatever. You know, I make make uh, a good amount of money at my job and all of that. And what's the and what career am I in? And uh and you know how do you how do I get a position? All right, so what I do is I do technical support. Anything that's wrong with a computer, I fix it. I've done it for for all levels. I've done it for law firms. I've done it for, um, I mean, nearly everything. I've done it for AT and T. I've worked for small independent companies. Right now, I work from home and I and I do it for uh, the Geek Squad. And I just fix anything that anybody helps. But I work on my own schedule. I work when I want to, and um, as much as I want to. And I, uh, you know, you know, that's, you know, that's that's just how it is. I get up in the morning. Normally, when I was at the law firms and stuff like that, you get up, you go in, and you uh. You just fix anything that's broken. Sometimes you don't get any calls at all. And, you know, it just is what it is. But, uh, you know, that's what I do. I do technical support. And I fix computers and stuff. And uh, I did go to the University of South Carolina. I majored in computer engineering. A lot of people probably wouldn't believe that. But, like I say, I always say I'm one of the most intelligent people on here. I just really don't give a damn about, you know, people thinking I'm intelligent. Because I know I am. So, I don't have to sit here and prove it in every video. Uh, one person asked, how did I get my intro for my videos? Um... Uh, Zooted made it. My man Zooted made it, man, and that's that's just really all to that. He made it, and um, I know it's so fucking up, but I, I really appreciate it, man. You know, I'm, I'm glad that we did get some uh, get some good questions here. Uh, my man Cleansy192 asks, "How old are you? And uh, when did I when did I graduate from high school? I am 32 years old, and I graduated from high school in the great year of 1999. We were the Millennium's last class, and that was just the end of it. Uh, I, I wish." You know, I'm, I'm glad. I wish I was younger now. Uh, mostly wish my body was younger, but, you know, it's not and it's never going to happen. So, 
Hey, getting uh, getting grown is a part of like getting grown. La 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 in this motherfucker. All right, so we got Mr. Walkside. Mr. Waxside says, um, let me see. How did I get into a scrub lobby? Because he don't never get into scrub lobbies like that. Man, if you watch my live stream, every game I play is live stream. I don't play any games off stream, so you have opportunity to look at everything I do. It's just pure luck, man. Like, And there's that few and far between, too, man. You just... We just don't get lobbies like that often. I mean, sometimes me and Breeze, we have to play games, and me and Banquo have to play nine, 10, 12 games in a row before we get a game where we actually, you know, do well and just beat the hell out of the other team. I mean, it is it's it is what it is, man. Uh, T-Dub3366, he asked, uh, yo, easy, uh, why did NASA drop out of the game? And, and you know, he's your homie. Y'all should pull him back in. He still plays. Nasa still plays, man. We just don't do the two-piece twos. We're going to try to do those a little bit more often. But um, what he does, he plays League of Legends. So, um, you know, he's not out of the game. He's just playing a different game. You know, it is what it is. Uh, Prohibited Rico says, uh, how, how am I so upbeat all the time? And, and uh, you know, that's what he needs to know. I'm upbeat all the time because I'm alive, man. You know, a lot of people, this is cliche to them. But, I mean, I don't have any problems in the world. I'm... I got, I mean, everything that I pretty much want except for a whole lot of money. But, you know, money don't make you happy unless I had it. And then I'd be like, shit, yes, the hell it does make you happy. But the point of the, the, the fact of the matter is I'm always upbeat because um, I just am. I mean, it's just my nature. I'm always happy. I've always just been happy to be alive. I grew up with my grandparents largely a good amount. And my grandmother used to thank Jesus every day when she got up. So she said, any day above ground is a good one. So ain't no need to be sad. Um, you know, uh, the belly soundtrack. Uh, my man, Danny, Danny Schlong, said the belly soundtrack <laughs> was uh, had one hell of a soundtrack. Yeah, it did. Talk long ball. You know, my man, the myth and legend. He got a YouTube channel. Go check him out. You know, he says, um, and go check out Mr. Go, Mr. Get him too, man. I'm going to put this nigga in the description. Check out, uh, check out, check him out too, man. He's a good dude. I mean, he did a video the other day about, about you know, how you, what happens when you lose people and how this shit on earth ain't even important. Um, you know, go go check that out. That's a good ass video, man. Uh, what got me into YouTube? I saw uh, Talk Longball ask that, man. I saw people doing it, and I knew I could do it. I knew I could do it at a better level. I would be more entertaining. I, I didn't think I would ever blow up or, or be as 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 much as I am now, but I I figured I would be okay. You know, I mean, it is what it is. You can't can't nothing. You can't uh, slot your success by everybody else's. But you know, we we'll get there one day. Jay Weezy say where I'm from, and Jay uh, Jeezy do it says where I'm from. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, man. Uh, that's where I am. I went to the University of South Carolina, Columbia, South Carolina. I was there for a little while, but mostly I'm from Atlanta, uh, from Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, Cod Four, Cod Four Online Player says, uh, "What gives me the inspiration to make videos? You guys, two pieces. Eh? But uh, you guys are what gives me the inspiration to make the videos, man. I make videos just to make people laugh, and then you know I just keep on going, and you know, uh, like because a little bit of cash that I get from it, it ain't nothing. Uh, I can make that in three or four phone calls." Uh, what I make in a month, I can make that in three or four phone calls, taking them for the Geek Squad. So it's it really not about the money. It's just about in entertaining you guys and, you know, keeping you guys coming back. Uh, Devil says, what's my favorite multiplayer game? Right now it's League of Legends. Um, I'm pretty sure there's another game that got me into it, but right now it's League of Legends. I love that game, you know. A drop shot, drop shot. Uh, gun, gun, gun Clerk says, how long have I been doing YouTube? I've been doing this since Modern Warfare 2, man. And, um, you know, uh, that's... That's when I've been doing it since Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 came out in November. I bought a uh, Dazzle in January and HDP VR in February. I've been doing it since then. Uh, let me see. Let's see. You know, since Modern Warfare 2 days. This is um, Machine Gun Lotto. Uh, how's the fam and everything? And do how I feel about the Falcons and the Niners? I feel about the Falcons and the Niners. I think we can beat them this weekend. And our family's doing great, man. You know it is what it is. Uh, the Ken, Dan's Ken asks, are you, am I happy with Black Ops 2? I'm happy with it. Um, kind of, but you know, there's some things that they could do better. I feel like they could do better, and I wish they would do better. Mainly the maps. I just hate the fact that there's so many maps that are just complete ass in this game, but it is what it is. Uh, let me see. Are you anticipating uh, my son being an athlete? Uh, DZ Mafia. Yeah, uh, he, he's going to be an athlete. I'm not going to force him to play. He's going to play sports, but I'm not going to force him to play any particular sports, is, is what I was saying. You know, I, I think it's important for kids to get out of the house and be active, but I'm not going to force him to play. Um, you know, pretty much like you said, I'm going to let him see what he wants to play. And if he wants to continue to pursue it at a serious level, I'll let him do it. But other than that, I'm not going to push him. Uh, Pat's fan says, uh, what made me start YouTube? And, um, you know, what made me start YouTube is I saw people doing it. I felt like I could do just as good, if not better. And, uh, you know, I wanted to bring you the real side of YouTube where it's not all 90 pluses and stuff like that. You know, it's just we have tough games and that's just how it goes. So I wanted to show everything. Uh, Richard Forrester asked, 
uh, you know, now do I play zombies? Y'all like zombies. I actually play zombies a lot, man. I love zombies, so you know it is what it is. It's just, it's just one of those uh, things where, you know, we we play, but um, just don't play it, it online a whole lot. Uh, Mr. Goon, Mr. Good Buddy says, uh, what do I think about the DLC coming out? I think it's gonna be good. I think they completely ripped. Uh, um, what's what's that game called? Um, uh, Homefront. I think they completely. Uh, rip that so you know um, it is what it is on that one but you know we'll see um, I hope it's gonna be better I just hope there's, there's some better maps and stuff like that that's really all I care about uh, Almond Leaf says that YouTube my main job no not even close I make I don't even make anything off YouTube honestly like I said I can make more in two or three calls for the Geek Squad than I make for from YouTube it could not be my main job I couldn't I couldn't support anything with it um, Anthony Taylor says uh, how did I come up with the sand man it's just all that stuff is on the fly man I'm one of those people that's called like, you know, I'm a non filtered person I, I just whatever comes to my mind I say it and uh, you know I have a lot of song influence and if a song fits it I just throw the song in there but I've always been like that so you know it is what it is uh, zombie zombie uh, Litcher says um, what attachment am I using uh, Pete uh, shoot fast mags and and uh, silencer are pretty much a staple to me so, you know, it is what it is. Chronic says, uh, hey, Jay, uh, what do I think about the L.A. Lakers situation and all that? Man, the Lakers got to get it together, man. They just got to play better basketball. It's not about coaching. You got to play better basketball. You got to have better players and all that. So, those guys are old. Um, I think they'll get it together. But it takes older teams sometimes a little bit longer to um, to, to get it together. Uh, do I play different games? Of course I play different games. I'm tired of this shit. Of course I am. I just put up this video because of it. And then my man Chill Glover says, <laughs> Camp Low or Rakim? I think you'll get this joke. Rakim, baby. That was so fucking epic.